Well, here we are back again for another encaustic technique for you to try. It's incorporating or using dental floss to help you create some textures and shapes and different designs in your encaustic paintings. Now, before you get all grossed out, it's actually fresh, clean, uh, pre-used dental floss. Um, and you can see what I've done is um, I'm now embedding this dental floss into the surface of a pre-waxed encaustic surface. And you'll see that I'm, I'm about to cover it with some, some wax paper. And then using a, a roller or a brayer you can use or the back of a wooden spoon, I'm burnishing it or rubbing it into the surface. So it's actually, you know, pushing down into the wax to keep it nice and secure. Now, in order to color the dental floss, what I did is I just, you know, took it out of the container, made um, or threw it onto the grill and then brushed on some black encaustic paint. And so it, it colored the dental floss, which was obviously white to begin with, um, black. So now I, um, you know, once, once you've added wax to it, it gets kind of stiff so you can form it into different shapes. Here I'm actually covering it with some more encaustic medium. I'll do, you know, a layer on that and take the heat gun to it. So basically the, the wax dental floss that's been pigmented is now sandwiched between multiple layers of wax. And I would probably do maybe three or four coats of wax on top of the um, pigmented dental floss. You could also just use it white, the white wax dental floss to create areas uh, that you can color into or tone into. You can see that as I'm taking the heat gun to it here, some of that black encaustic paint that I put on there is kind of leaching and swirling into the encaustic medium that I've painted on. So you could do get a little bit of, you know, gratuitous swirling and design pattern, which I quite like. I'll probably incorporate that into the, the final design. So, um, you know, here's just another use for that dental floss. It's a fun technique, uh, technique to play with. So I hope you'll give it a try. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Happy creating.